Hey all, hope you all are fine. Today I'm going to show how to read a multi-structured delimited file. So a multi-structured delimited file means that in a file it has a rows with multiple schema present in it. So let me show you an example. So these are some rows and each row have a different schema. For example, let's uh, let's look at the first row. It has the column. First column as type. Second is the uh, album name, third is the author and fourth is the date. Uh, in the second row you can see that it has the first column as type and second column as uh, song name. Third it has a type and, and second column is uh, library name. Similarly fourth, uh, fourth column is type, second is the name third column is age and fourth column is the qualification so you you can see that these four rows has a different schemas so how we will differentiate it Dif we will differentiate it with the help of its type so exa for example in the row in this row and this row it has a type 0 1 so these two have the same schema similarly this row this row and this row have a type 0 2 so these have the same schema Similarly, here you can see that the type, uh, the row with the type ECB have the same scheme. So let's begin. So the component I'm going to use is T file input MS delimited component. And okay, so it's asking for the multi schema editor and okay. So what I will do, let's double click on it and browse the file. So this is the file. Uh, it's separated will be semicolon uh, row separator will be a slash n it's not a csv file it's a delimited file and separated with semicolon as you can see okay so as we have four different types of rows and schemas so we will add uh, we will have to add, create four schema let's give the schema name as a and it will be differentiated by 0 1 S separator will be semicolon similarly b it will be separated uh, by 0 2 and 3 similarly i will add it would be separate uh, uniquely identified by type ecb and separator as semicolon. Let's just add the column names as first will be type. Uh, let it be string only. Uh, second is album name. Third will be author. Fourth will be a date. Let's give a capital letter. Let's change the type to date. Um, it's not okay. It's separated by slash. So what I will do? I will add slash in between. Mm, seems fine. Similarly, for the second, it has the type. and let's give a song name okay similarly for third type and library name similarly for the fourth it has four columns first is type second is name then age and then oh, qualification uh, age is ok age is integer where it is ok oh, not it's long integer qualification is a string ok name is ok seems fine okay the okay so as you can see that four different type of schemas 
will be differentiated on the basis of type and I will output it using t log row component. I will copy it and paste it four times. Okay. Let me connect them all. Seems good until now. What I need to do? Print it in form of table and let's click on sync or column. Okay. Print it in form of table and sync. Okay. Seems all good. Okay. So let's run our job. Hope we are able to segregate each file type. Okay, we have our outputs. Let's check. Okay, first schema type have four columns. Type album name, author, date, second. Okay, it has second. Second has type 02, okay, 03, and fourth has type ECB. So finally, we are able to segregate uh, our data into different schemas so hope you like this video kindly like and subscribe to my channel have a nice day